Hello everybody. I've been wanting to make the hot water recirculation pump at my home a little more efficient. So I started with just a basic timer and I set the timer to come on at five o'clock in the morning, off at 10 or 11 at night, but that's not sophisticated enough for me. We have found that quite often there's demand for hot water outside of those hours and in particular instant hot water outside of those hours. So let me show you my solution. So initially I started looking at what commercial products might be out there and I came across this Taiko Smart Plus hot water recirculation pump. And as I looked into it, it turned out to be pretty expensive in the three to four hundred dollar range and I didn't see any good reason to take a perfectly good pump and replace it with a three to four hundred dollar one. But I was intrigued by this concept. It says right here in pulse mode, the system runs for 150 seconds every 10 minutes. So that means it runs two and a half minutes every 10 minutes. That turns out to be about a 20% duty cycle. I concluded that Takeo's decision to use that setting is not trivial. So I'm gonna buy a very inexpensive timer that's gonna do exactly that. It's gonna allow the pump to run two and a half minutes off 10 minutes and then back on for two and a half minutes and to basically run at a 20% duty cycle all day long. It should save me a little bit of energy in terms of natural gas as well as a little bit of electricity. And since the motor that I have is a permanent split capacitor motor, that frequent starting and stopping is not going to be really significantly detrimental to the motor life, nor is it going to be a significant inrush current when the motor starts. So let me show you the timer that I'm going to use. I purchased a timer on AliExpress that looks exactly like this timer. And I bought that timer for less than $4 delivered to the U.S., included shipping. And if you're not familiar with AliExpress, please be sure to use the link. And if you want to get even a further discount, make sure you create a top cash back account with the link I provided below. So create a TCB account, sign into it, link from that account out to AliExpress, log into your AliExpress account, conclude your purchase there, and Top Cash Back will give you typically a 6% rebate. In general, I get a 6% rebate, cash rebate on all my AliExpress purchases. And I actually get cash rebates for all my online Walmart purchases, my online Lowe's purchases, and many, many other merchants. So be sure to check that out. Check out my referral link. I would appreciate you using the link. You'll get a little bonus, and I will too. These timing modules have a lot of capability. Number one, they're very small, and this one will accept any AC voltage from 100 to 250 volts. The on time delay and the off time delay are right next to each other. They have a timing range that can be from 0 to 100 seconds, or 0 to 1,000 seconds, or 0 to 100 minutes, or 0 to 1,000 minutes. So depending on where you have these dip switches, in the down position on switch number one, it's 0 to 100. In the up position, it's 0 to 1,000. And on switch number two, in the down position, you are talking about seconds. And in the up position, your scale is minutes. This section right over here allows you to put a push button switch. So there are a couple of interesting features here. If you just jump or a wire from this point to this point, whenever the timer is powered on, the timing cycle will automatically start. The voltage here at these two terminals is very low. I think you could actually run very low voltage wiring and run a remote switch somewhere so that you could actually turn this timer off remotely using low voltage signal wire and be quite a far distance away from the timer itself. The other thing I like to do is to add a power relay. I'm going to have this timer drive a power relay uh, only because I don't trust the relays that are here to be able to handle a motor so I will connect the power re relay up to here you can buy this power relays on eBay for uh, generally three to five bucks and just make sure you buy one that has 115 volt 120 volt AC coil and is rated for motor use so it's going to have a motor horsepower rating on it don't concentrate so much on the amp rating 10 or 15 amp relay in general might be sufficient but make sure it has a horsepower rating and typically the motor horsepower rating is going to be either a half horsepower or a one horsepower one horsepower power relays are quite common
So hook up your power relay right over here to these contacts. Put your AC power in here and that's going to just work beautifully with my pump. I'm going to set this on time for two and a half minutes and I'm going to set the off time to 10 minutes and I will have duplicated at least one of the features on the Smart Plus system for less than $10 in parts.